everybody. I'm glad you joined me for our last week of our Real Heroes Unit. Remember, we started off with Mary and Joseph. And remember, they were heroes because they obeyed God. And then we talked about John. Remember, he was a real hero because he did his best. He did what pleased God. And then we talked about Aquila and Priscilla last week. Remember, they were heroes because they uh, told others about Jesus. And do you remember one of the ways I said that all of us could tell people about Jesus? Yes, singing Jesus Loves Me. I love that song, don't you? And it tells so much about Jesus. Well, I had a hard time trying to figure out how to end this unit because there are so many um, heroes that we can find and read about in the Bible. I chose some people that are heroes because they loved others and they helped others. And those were two things that they learned to do from Jesus. So loving others, loving others. What are ways that you can show people that you love them? Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Yes, all these ideas. Ah, a smile, of course. Spending, spending time with someone, oh, that's another one that all of us can do. And what about ways to help? Can you think of some ways? <laughs> you know, yes, yes. Y'all got this helping thing down, don't you? Y'all are wonderful. Well, you know, the people of the early church, um, they were learning these lessons from Jesus. And so let's set the stage. The story from the Bible in the book of Acts um, is talking about the church and how Peter and the other disciples, do you remember what I told you all the disciples were? Those were those special friends of Jesus's, remember, that followed him around? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they would go into the temple, the church, and they would tell other people um, about Jesus and they would talk about how Jesus had told them to love others and to help others and these people would sit there and they would learn but what was interesting was they really started understanding what that meant and it was changing their lives they were loving people and they were the people of the church really came together and you know what they did they took care of each other. They helped each other. They shared with each other. If someone needed something, they'd give it to them. Um, there were even some people that didn't have something to give, so they would sell something of theirs and get the money and use it to buy what the other person needed. They really took care of each other. And these people would start going to the church daily and really um, worshiping God and praying and um, taking care of each other what was happening though while this was going on there were a lot of people in Jerusalem that they didn't know about Jesus yet and so they couldn't help but notice they were noticing with their eyes and listening with their ears they were seeing the changes in some of these people and they were seeing all this love and how they were being so helpful and it made them curious so guess what a lot of them started doing they started going to the church and they started listening and they too started seeing their lives changing because they were loving others and they were helping others and that's how these changes took place and those people decided to start following Jesus also. Oh, the changes that can happen in people's hearts when they know Jesus are amazing. So what do you say we tell Rudy about this? I think that'd be a good idea. Rudy! Rudy! Oh, thanks. Sorry. I forgot. Uh, would y'all like to sing Jesus Loves Me with me, please? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Hello everybody, how are you? I'm so glad y'all are here. Have y'all been talking about heroes again? We 
have, Rudy. We have. Can y'all tell him? Today we were talking about real heroes do two things. Do you remember what they are? Love others? That's right, Rudy. They love others. Do y'all remember what the other one was? What? They help others. They help others. They help others. And Rudy, we were talking about the people of the early church, how they were um, sharing love and how they were helping one another. And the people that weren't um, part of the church yet noticed the changes in these people. And they got curious, and they wanted to see what it was all about, too. And a lot of them decided to join the church. Isn't that cool? Kind of like what we have going on at our church. Well, um, I know of something that Lover's Lane's doing to show love and share. Um, and love, love and share. Uh, uh, I know, I know. Oh. What? Well, it's that ministry where they do the food thing. Rudy, you know what? I have some pictures of that food thing. It's the food ministry, Rudy. So would you like me to share them with your with your friends? Oh, yes, please, yes, please. I'm going to sit right here. Okay, you sit right there while I show them some pictures. You know, just like that early church that was loving people and sharing with them, our food ministry is doing the same thing right now. And it requires a lot of volunteers. We have volunteers that take the food, you know, to pick up the food and deliver it to the church. And some people then have to put it out and stage it so that other people can go and put the food into the bags. And then once the food is all bagged up, somebody has to take it out and put it out by the curb so that when people drive through to get their food, someone's there to put it in their cars for them. And that makes people so happy. We are sharing love and helping others by providing food for people that need it. We are showing people Jesus without actually giving them a sermon. It's through our actions. We can teach so many things about Jesus by what we do. Oh, I served it, Miss Margaret. Yes. Uh, I know something about, um, about that. You do? What do you know about that? Well, last week, Miss Jennifer um, shared uh, the Lover's Lane Kids uh, Justice League motto. She did? Well, that sounds cool. Tell me about it. Well, I actually need your help. Well, how can I help you? I need you to do the motions. Well, why can't you do them? Because uh, I don't have fingers. Oh, sorry. Of course. Okay, well, I don't know the motions. Can you tell them to me? Oh, oops. Okay, I can do that. Okay, okay, all right, I think I've got this. Okay, so you say the words and I do the motions, okay? All right, okay, ready? All right, uh, heroes do good. Oh, that's right, that's right. Okay. Heroes do good, heroes see peace and mercy. Miss Margaret, oh, sorry, sorry. So, wait, do good, see peace and mercy. Okay, and what's the other thing? This, right? So do this. That's right. That's right. Okay. So let's do it again, Miss Margaret. So um, I learned from Miss Jennifer that heroes do good. Mm -hmm. They seek peace and mercy. Uh, and they go after it with God. Friends, did y'all want to do that? Do y'all want to do that? Do it with us. Okay. Um, do good. Uh, seek peace and mercy. And go after it with God. That's what heroes do. Wow. There's so many ways to be a hero. So many ways. It's limitless. So I think that maybe all of us, all of us should realize that we can all be heroes by following our heart, listening to Jesus, and doing things that are kind and loving and good. Remember, we can obey God. We can do our best. We can uh, tell others about Jesus, and we can love others and help others. And we can do good, we can seek mercy and peace, and we can go after it with God. And we can all be heroes. I love you, and I will see y'all next week for the start of our next unit. Bye, everybody!
拜，谢谢。